use of a system of a personal responsibility and accountability to yourself. And that's really, really important. Because as you grow older and as you become more and more and more ingrained um, with ideas and philosophies and things pulling you this way and that, you have to remember personal responsibility and accountability. Because you're always going to be held to your word. You're always going to be held to your signature. The laws of this land force that upon you. So it's better if you think that way ahead of time. Basically, Buddhism teaches us that no one has the right to judge anyone else or the incidences that they cause. You can't judge anyone. We're not take, we are not responsible to take things personally. What happens to me can happen to you. Hurricane Rita, when she came through here, like a bad girlfriend. A lot of damage. But it wasn't just to one church or one house or one person. It was everyone. Everyone was affected. And when bad things happen, they may not happen to you or you, but they may happen to you. Or they may happen to you. And when you look, you might say, well, I could have been standing in that spot. Or that could very easily have happened to me. That's why you don't judge the person and their reactions to where, why they do things the way they do. Because it's really important you don't judge other people. Everything rises and falls away. If you ever read any Buddhist books, you'll see that all the way through. Everything rises and falls away. All the things that you have, all your possessions, all the things that happen to you, all of your feelings, rise and fall away. It's not a secret. The best thing to do is allow yourself to give yourself permission to let things go. Allow things to go. And don't try to hold on to them. Holding on to something that's leaving is what brings you suffering. And a few minutes ago, I gave you the reasons for suffering. Grasping, holding on to something. Holding on to something that really, you don't need to hold. It's like, in philosophy, it tells you, look at a glass. Is that glass half empty or half full? And I ask you just to look at the glass as a glass. It doesn't make any difference whether it's half empty or half full. It's a glass. So it doesn't make a difference what the function is. It just is. So I don't have to look at you and say, I don't like you because your hair is long, or I don't like you because your hair is short, or I don't like you because your skin is black, or I don't like you because your skin is yellow. It's not a reason. It's not a reason not to like someone. Buddha's taught everyone to love without exception with equanimity. Equanimity is a very important Equanimity says, each of you are as important as the people in the next classroom. None of us are worth more than the other one. If someone came in here with, um, with a check for $1,000 and he said, pick the most worthy, I couldn't. Could any of us say who's more worthy? No. If you do, you're fooling yourself. Treat each person exactly the same so that when you're with that person, they have your attention, they feel your love. Because that's what, what that's what's really, really important. So when you talk about being a well and you're the water in the well, people come to you to take from you, you have something to give back. And you keep putting water back in your well. You keep acknowledging that goodness doesn't come from outside the self, goodness comes from inside the self. When Buddhists grant each other a blessing, when they come to each other and they hold their, their hands like this, they say, they acknowledge the Buddha within you. Because every person has goodness. Every person has goodness. And it's your job to recognize that. To look at every person, the person next to you, the person behind you, the person beside you, 
and recognize that there's goodness in every single person. And it's a mindset. It's not a pain in daisy. It's not a pie in the sky. It's a way of looking at things. And the way to look at things is with charity of self. Learn to give yourself away. It's the only way to be. Learn to give yourself away. Believe that you are the well from which all goodness comes because all goodness will flow from you. Right? You can believe that. I always uh, finish all my speeches by saying the same thing. I wish you well.